Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at how to identify theta in interquartile range. So this is in descriptive mathematics that you have to find quartile range and in quartile range. So what exactly is quartile? So basically it is a rank set of theta where you can see that data set is divided into four equal groups with each group is quarter of theta. Okay, that's basically your quota. Now, when you have these three set of data properly divided, then your first and third data when gets subtracted, you get your interquartile range. Okay, so let's take a look at that with example. First thing, open Mathematica and create one notebook. Now here, let's say I created a list named A list. And I'm going to add some data here. One, three, then three again, then four, then five, and then six, six, seven, and then eight, and eight. Then close that curly bracket, shift enter, okay? And you have your list. And the next thing that we are going to go for is use the keyword interquartile range okay and then pass it our a list and shift enter and you get output as only four okay so that is because you get exactly the value that is within your interquartile range Okay, uh, if you have a large set of data, in that case, you can make use of numerics and then call for interquartile range and then pass your A list again, shift enter, and you get four points. Okay, so currently our set of data is smaller, so it only shows you this four as the number within that interquartile data range. Okay. For larger data, it will be able to show you a much larger range within interquartile data set. Okay. So this was a short video on how to identify data in interquartile range.